If you have air bubbles in the coolant tank, stay with us, we'll explain what causes that. Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. It could be a really easy fix, but if not fixed on time, you may need the engine replaced and we'll explain why. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Mercedes C-Class. It could be any generation Mercedes C-Class with diesel, gasoline engine guys, four six cylinder engine. Even if you have a V8 guys for the AMG, it will work as well. If you have guys bubbles in the coolant reservoir on your Mercedes C-Class, they will explain what can easily cause that. You hope one of those is not the case, but in some cases it could be really easy fix. And if not fixed on time, it can lead to engine replacement stay with us and we'll explain what we're talking about before we start let me just tell you a little bit about us guys every single car we get here in the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we're constantly getting new cars we're constantly working on something why we do all that guys because our mission here at the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos and if you need to buy any parts tools for your car mercedes any model guys Check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our two supplies from and you can guys save a fortune. We have guys at Mercedes C-Class. This specifically is a 2013 1.8 engine. This is a C250 gasoline, but even if you have a diesel, it will work as well. Uh, now, uh, it will work for multiple generations, guys. Let's say, first, never open your coolant reservoir when it's hot. Let the car sit overnight, then open it or for a few hours minimum. This is your coolant level. If you see the coolant, uh, practically, guys, bubbling inside, bubbles, air bubbles, and you can see it boiling inside, what can easily cause that? First, guys, you need to inspect your cap, okay? Coolant reservoir cap. That cap is not just a cap that closes it. It has an integrated valve that's supposed to release pressure practically in the atmosphere uh, if it reaches certain pressure and if that valve doesn't work correctly if it's stuck open close it can cause the cooling system not to work correctly because it's supposed to work at certain pressure so bad um, bad radiator cap or in other cases coolant reservoir cap can easily cause that as well always use original bm uh, uh, excuse me original mercedes coolant or uh, one that's approved for your mercedes guys okay uh, you need to see that it meets the specifications for your specific Mercedes vehicle. Uh, if you don't, you can destroy valves, hoses, thermostats, guys, water pumps, gaskets, multiple components. Next, let's say if you recently did a thermostat replacement or water pump, radiator, radiator hose, coolant reservoir, electric recirculation pump, anything that required draining the coolant and you had to refill it after that, if you did not bleed the cooling system, you may have ended up with an air pocket in the engine that can prevent coolant from flowing freely. As a result, you may even start overheating your engine. So you need to guys bleed the cooling system. We have multiple videos that will teach you how to bleed cooling system on a car. Check it out. After that, okay, what else it could be? Check your thermostat. We have a video that explains how to test thermostat. If the thermostat is stuck close, okay, that can cause the coolant to start boiling as well. Another thing that can uh, cause guys, okay, uh, to have bubbles in the coolant reservoir, okay, could be problems with the uh, water pump, malfunctioning water pump. So uh, we'll have a video about symptoms of bad water pump as well. And you hope the last one is not your case, okay, it could be blown head gasket. Okay, blown head gasket will start releasing air in the cooling system. If you want to know, okay, if you have a bad head gasket, we have a special video that talks about the symptoms of bad head gasket. Check it out, it will teach you all about that, guys. So, hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you having Mercedes C-Class. If you have any questions, let us know. Thank you for watching, see you next time.